So today I have a maintenance tool that has completely changed the algae scrubbing game for me. And this has been something that I've been looking for for many, many months, and I'm happy to say that I have finally found it. Hello and welcome to Logan Rando Aquascaping. My name is Logan and today I have what I believe to be a must have tool for your maintenance slash algae scrubbing arsenal. And that is the Aquaworks algae brush. So for the longest time, I had been doing some pretty heavy maintenance on my UNS 5N. I find that nano tanks can be a little bit more prone to getting algae, especially on the hardscape that is closest to the light. And this tank is no exception. I'm dealing with some pretty stubborn green algae, green dust algae mostly. I'm finding I'm just having a really hard time manually removing it with toothbrushes. As you can see, the toothbrush can be a little bit cumbersome, especially when you're trying to get into like tight nooks and crannies. And the hardscape featured in this tank is the really beautiful dragon wood. And it's got all sorts of little pores and holes that I'm just having a really difficult time getting to with the toothbrush. And that's exactly where the Aquaworks algae brush comes in handy. And at around $16, I mean, you just cannot go wrong. And I have to give Isabel over at Boost Plant a huge shout out. I recently placed a plant order and she tossed this into the order for me and it is a game changer. So it is just super awesome for getting into those little nooks and crannies and those spots that you really have a hard time getting to with a toothbrush. And the thing about this tool that I really appreciate is that it has just the right amount of abrasiveness. So I believe the bristles are composed of some sort of a plastic, but they actually feel like metal. So they're very, very abrasive and they're really, really good for scrubbing off stubborn algae. Even the electric toothbrush has a hard time handling the most stubborn of algae. And with these really abrasive bristles, you can take on things like BBA and other types of stubborn algae that really latch on the hardscape. Additionally, I find that toothbrushes often disintegrate and the bristles fall apart. Same thing happens to me with the metallic brushes. And this seems to just be a lot more sturdy. The bristles are really thick and I really put it to the test today, scrubbing the ins and outs of my UNS 5N, and I'm happy to report that I didn't lose any bristles. So I can't recommend this tool enough. This isn't any sort of a sponsored video, but once again, I gotta thank Boost Plant for sending it over to me, but these thoughts are completely my own opinion, and I am really, really happy with it. So that'll be linked down below in the description if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. I'm super happy I discovered it because it's those little one to 3% changes that make your maintenance life easier, that I think just improved this hobby so much because you always want it to be pleasant and relaxing and never too much of a chore. So this has been Logan with Logan Rando Aquascaping and I will see you guys and gals next time.